Good evening. This is June 21st, 2021, and I'll call to order the Finance Committee. And please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Thank you. Be seated. Thank you, Area 58. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Beth, let me give you. Would you be so kind? Who's yeah. What is in? Um, Take you off, Adam. You're not there anymore, Adam? I'm here. I'm fine. I just put it on mute. That's all. But I'm here. Okay, I think we got you again. You guys have to tell me if he goes away. Yep. Still there? Yep. yep. I am still here. Okay. Thank you. I don't see anyone for public comment. Hi, Marie. Sorry, Adam. <laughs> this is the technology we have now. This is the latest and greatest in technology. Mr. LaFond. That big giant TV set doesn't work over there? That good? It's good. Don't wiggle the table. Town Administrator Update. Do you have anything for us? Nothing. Oh, awesome. Moving right along. Transfer request for security cameras at the Playground Police Station Building Committee. We have a transfer request from the chairman for $28,639.86 um, for cameras. You all have a copy of the request. For cameras at the Playground, we've been talking about this for, oh, good, over a year, I think, now. Um, and the only thing that I've been informed of is that we cannot transfer this money into the police station account because it's an article. Therefore, we were thinking that we could probably transfer it into the Recreation Committee. The Recreation Committee could then be responsible for paying for it, yet the, your project can still go on as normal. It just, just becomes an accounting issue. So if you have no problem with that and the Recreation Committee has no problem with that, um, I'll get an updated, if we approve this tonight, I'll get an updated transfer request and, and we'll move this into whatever account. Um, Meg will be back on Monday, so we'll find out whatever account Meg wants to put it into uh, that will allow that. We had talked just before she left and <clears throat> she's the one who said you can't because it's it's a it's an article, it's a money article, no, from. Because she had told me that was a good place to put it, so that's why I put it the way it did. Exactly. That was the bottom line. Was was as long as we got it funded. So the the floor is yours, Mr. Chairman. You want to tell us what's going on with the four cameras and and so forth? Do you how soon they'll be done? And well, we're right now we're waiting on one final quote, but we've. This, this number here is solid, we know that. It may be a little bit over, but not much. Uh, the idea is to put four cameras um, around the playground uh, on some of the fence posts. One will be on the main build, the uh, snack shack over there. So there'll be good views of virtually everything on the playground area, including the back of one. Um, and the bathrooms? And the bathroom, yep. Okay. So, all of this will report back um, there is a uh, microwave dish to the police station um, the new in, the new communications tower at the police station there will be a dish on that that will accept the signal put it into the communications room at the police station and into the um, the network that the police department has there so it will be it'll become uh, four additional cameras in addition to, I believe they have 45 cameras now. Um, they will have 
visual whenever they want to. But again, they've got forty. Right. We didn't expect anyone to be monitoring. I don't expect them no. to be monitored unless somebody called and said, "Hey, I see something funny over the playground. Um, can you check it?" And they certainly can pull that up. Um, the benefit of it is it will maintain the video for a period of time, and I don't know that number. I, I'm guessing it's 30 days, might be 60 days. So that if something happened in the parking lot or something happened to a child, fell off a, a, one of the uh, rigs over there, um, we can pull that back up. So to me, it, again, I get involved in this, I don't know how, but late in the game. Um, this isn't my forte, but somehow I got, I'm doing it. Um, so this will, to me, give us good coverage from a safety standpoint. It's not going to pick up something if, if there's some guy over there that's trying to pick kids up. They're not going to see it. They're going to be able to go back and see it unless they know what's going on. If, right. You know, right that was always our concern was the after the fact when you get that phone call on Monday morning that something happened on Sunday night, then they can go back and play back the video to try to determine what that was, whether well, it was vandalism or... Ended, but, right. Um, this at least would, would give us some idea of what it might have been. Additionally, if there's some damage on the playground, if the kids get in there and do donuts on the ball field, <coughs> right. which they've been known to do, at least in my vintage anyway. Um, or anything else, you know, if there's an accident in the uh, parking lot, this is going to capture some of that. So, um, to me, it's just a, a safety issue, it's a liability issue to me. That, um, you know, the town is doing everything they can to protect the kids and protect the, the security of the uh, infrastructure and also to protect citizens who may get in a, a fender bender or may get in an argument with each other and uh, it'll be on videotape. Perfect. Um, We've contacted two vendors, got pricing from two vendors, both very capable, both, both did work in the police station uh, that we were happy with. Uh, all of this is on a state made contract. Uh, Shelby Blair has reviewed that state made contract and, and uh, documented that everything we're buying is on that contract, so that's, we don't even have to go to bid on it for that reason. Good. Um, we would be very happy with either one of the vendors. Uh, Mike Shaw from the police station, who's kind of a techie, and um, Steve Mahoney from the school department have worked on this together, as has Dave Seaton got from the uh, O&M. So um, I think it's it's a good project. Timing, I've asked, and they were saying in the middle of July it could be completed. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet my five cents on that because a lot of this equipment is back ordered and they don't do anything until they get a signed purchase order to right. buy equipment. Right. Um, the gal we're dealing with is a Cava resident um, and she has assured us that this will get done as quick as they can possibly do it. Awesome. It involves, we have to hire an outside contractor to climb the tower to install the, uh, the dish and that's figured in the price here. We have to do a little bit of trenching on the field get some conduit in so they can run their cables. That's covered in this price. Um, the only the only reason it was convenient for us to put it in the police station account was that if, if we happen to go over this money in the police station account that we could, could handle. Uh, originally I had offered to um, use some remaining money in the police station account to pay for this whole thing. You know, I want, would want the blessing of the town administrator and the FinCom and the Board of Selectmen to do that. But clearly, as I look at it, it, it could be considered a part of the police station project. It's just one more, four more cameras. Right. Be watching, so. uh, but anyway, anyway, the FinCom wants to do it. I'm, I just want it done. I get it. Uh, would, would, you, would you find out tomorrow, please, exactly? I'm confused now because this transfer request is very well written out, showing police station account number and the whole bit. So obviously it's not a number that was pulled out of thin air. So now I'm wondering if it got corrected and we can in fact put it in this particular account. I so out in all my years I've never seen a reserve fund transfer transferred into an article, but that's a technical question. I will I 
Right, exactly, and I'm not I'm not exactly certain that this new police station account number is actually the article. So, it could be that it's. Is it the article? It's got five hundred and sixteen thousand left in it. Yep. So that's the article. Yes. Okay. Then we can't put the money in there. So. Okay. What we'll do is take action on this tonight, and once it's 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 approved or denied, um, then. Well, you, you, you could, I would suggest, maybe take action on it um, and transfer it to either line item um, to be decided. Either or. Finance yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay and with I that. I think that would be, that would, obviously, would let you know yeah. what it is, but uh, that way you wouldn't have to meet again or rescind or amend. Right. No, I'm fine with that. Anybody on the committee have anything? I just had a couple questions. Yeah. Just a, maybe a couple of technical questions too. It's in the um, grand scheme of things, with the um, with the cameras recording, are they motion sensitive recording or is it constant recording? And two is if something happens in the middle of the night, is there enough light around for the cameras to record something that? you'd be able to see and use? Um, don't have that answer for you, Pat. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not a... Yeah, it's kind of technical, a yeah. Um, I don't know. I think they will be motion sensitive. That's what all the cameras... So they, yeah, right that, now, that's right? typical. Um, but I don't know about the light, the ambient light. Mm. I, is that... The, uh, the motion's a function of their DVR inside the police station, so the cameras are probably always on, but it just doesn't record, yeah. Right. Well, yeah. so it'll have a box on the screen that yeah. the yeah. DVR looks at. I've, I've, but the the cameras that see at night have infrared, uh, it right. shoots infrared night lights vision. down. Okay. That's what you'd have to find out. So if they, if they are infrared, um, they'd be able to see at night. Don't know, um, Pretty much everything today is, but yeah, it's such an inexpensive um, thing now. Yeah. Don't know. I will ask that question. Do you um, anticipate putting um, anti-deterrent signage up to just telling people that the the premises are recorded, being recorded? That was discussed when I went to the um, recreation committee meeting the other night, and I think. Consensus probably was yes. yes. We did sign a job. We did decide we are going to put the sign a job saying that. The yeah, that's a good out. idea. <clears throat> Anybody else? Pat, I'm sorry. Uh, Adam. I have nothing. Thank you. Okay, I'll take a motion. I'll make a motion um, to. Do we need to recommend this to the select board? No. Okay. I make a motion to approve uh, for the new security cameras for the playground for $28,639.86 to either come out of the Recreation Committee account or the new police station account um, as decided on by the finance director. That work for you? To be transferred? Yes. Yeah, did I not be transferred? Needs a second. second. To come out of a second. second. Yes, it'll it'll come out of our reserve account, which at, at present um, I got a, a listing today. We got 121 thousand in our reserve account, but 70 thousand and some change of that was earmarked for the Cascade machine. Uh, on that transfer, the reason that has not hit yet is because the caveat was is that would only be used if the CARES Act denied it. So it's it, it's not a double it's not a double dip. So we're waiting to see uh, if the CARES Act is going to pay for the Cascade machine. Then that money will obviously stay in our reserve account um, at least until the end of next month. And then uh, if it does not and it's denied, then the reserve account will pick up that tab. So this will come out of our reserve. Who did the second motion? Who drove? Motions made and seconded. 
to transfer 28,639.86 from the reserve account into either the police station account or the recreation account as determined by the finance department for the purpose of installing the security cameras at the playground. Uh, any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Adam? Adam Holmes says aye. This is unanimous. That's it. You got it, Bill. Thank you so much. I appreciate your hard work. No, I know we threw you under the bus with this one, but there was okay. it's just needed to get done, and, and somebody brought up tying it into the police station was the best idea because of all the new technology that was going there. To me, personally, I'd have been in favor of hanging three cameras and plugging in a DVR in the in the O&M shed over there, as long as we had something covering the, the, the place. So. Well, it'll be done the right way, and it'll be done. That works. Soon, so. Works for me. Thank you very much for your Thank you. 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 Thank uh, the Women's Health Network and South Shore Community Action. They've all proposed grant applications. Um, we've given this is we've gave them all grants except for South Shore. We didn't do South Shore last year. They didn't come in. I don't know why. Um, they came in the year before, so um, they're back for this coming this year here, uh, and they're all asking for the same five thousand. So we'll take that up. That'll be on a uh, upcoming agenda. I suspect. It depends on what we've got going on for the July 12th uh, or the 13th meeting that we know the 12th, um, which is the year end. If it's a simple year end closeout meeting, then we may very well just invite uh, a grant applicant at that point and have someone come, you know, have like bring Shane in or something like that and get them started. But if it's a crazy meeting because, you know, the end of the world is coming, with budget transfers and all this, we won't. the wrong agenda here. What did I do? Did I put it on the agenda for the uh, committee, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why I don't have that copy. At the select board meeting the other night, um, Sarah Ewens and Bob Belbin stepped up to become part of a bylaw subcommittee, review subcommittee, to deal with the FinCom bylaw as it now stands. They've requested two members of the finance committee to work with them and come up with a bylaw that is both understandable and um, works for both committee both committees everybody knows where my feelings are on this particular bylaw I had a bylaw change proposed for a town meeting um, and because of this promise from the select board is why I indefinitely postponed that change so that we could get together as two groups and come up with wording that would work what we have right now obviously doesn't work. Uh, my particular, my personal belief with bylaws is, is that we shouldn't have to get town council to do an interpretation of what does this say. So I don't like bylaws that require a Philadelphia lawyer to tell you what you're trying to read here is not what you think you read, but it's what he thinks you should understand. And it just, that never has worked for me. So anyone interested? Don't everybody jump. I'll do it. Bill? What's the uh, commitment? What, what do they plan on meeting? No more than five or six years. Probably three nights a week. <laughs> no, I, honestly, I don't know. It's up to them. Um, I, I said I would give uh, notification. I'll be more than happy to take one of the spots, but I think I'd like to see, like to see some of the new guys get in. Um, 
and, and, and I'll be happy to do it. You know, this would be great. Sean, you all right with that, Tony? Yeah. Sean and Bill. So I now I need a motion. Sure. So I make a uh, motion. motion that we draft. Yeah. I make a motion. <clears throat> Bill Cullum and Sean Morgan. Yes. Um, to be the two members of the finance committee on the finance committee bylaw subcommittee that has been established by the select board. Second. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Adam? Adam Holmes says aye. It's unanimous. Um, you guys can even vote for yourselves. This is pretty simple. Um, so it'll be Bill Cullum and Sean Morgan. Would you pass that along or do you want me to send an email? Mr. Town Administrator. I'm not going to pass that along. I know you're talking to me here. <laughs> okay. When he looks over this way, I'm not sure who he's looking for. <laughs> he's probably looking at you. <laughs> I'm not saying one thing, not a word. <laughs> okay, minutes of the meeting from the 17th and also the meeting from the 20, 25th. So we'll take the 17th first. You guys are ready. I'll take a motion. I make a motion to approve the minutes from Monday, May 17, 2021, as written. I need second. a second. Motion made and seconded to approve the minutes of Monday, May 17, 2021, as written. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? We're there. Tony, you were the only one uh, uh, that was not at that meeting, so we're going to have to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, zero, one. On the minutes of the 25th, which was the Zoom meeting, I'll take a motion when you're ready. And Greg, you were absent on that meeting. Yeah. I make a motion to approve the minutes from May 25th, 2021, as written. Second. Motion made and seconded to approve the minutes May 25th, 2021, as written. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Adam Holmes says aye. Opposed? So we're back to 701 again because Greg was not present. Next meeting date will be the 12th. I believe that's when we're doing the year end. Um, and that's all I got. I got no comments for tonight from this side of the aisle. Anybody else? I'll take a motion. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. I have a motion made and seconded to adjourn. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Adam Holmes says aye. Carried. We are adjourned. Mm.